In today's video, we are going to go around some of the affordable beach condos you can buy in Fort Lauderdale and we just bought those today. So I'm going to show you those condo. How does it look like? Let's start our journey right now. I've been all on my grind, so why I need you? Baby girl love my vibe, and I like me too. No roof on my top, and my babe see through. Hating on the pin, don't stop, shit ain't gon' feed you. I've been all on my grind, so why I need you? Big flex, my swole up. Double cup, and I'm pulled up. Niggas hating like hold up. So let me show you the heart of Pompano Beach. So. This is actually Ocean Drive and where I'm going, that's like an inner road where you can go in a Pompano Beach area. And this is where it's all fun happens. Like a lot of events happen here. There's a, like, you know, they have a very nice park. I like Pompano Beach because they have a very flexible parking. It's not always busy here. And the ocean is just after this. Like you have a beautiful boardwalk. You do have some huts, picnic areas, kids play areas. A lot of things are here on the ocean. And just across this, so look at this, this is called a Jamaica house. It, this is built in, in 1960, I guess. So this, this building is still older. Like a lot of older buildings are there. You will not find very, very new building all the time on the street. Florida weather is so different right now. In December, it's raining. Yesterday it rained so much in the evening and very unpredictable. So Florida weather sometimes is crazy. You cannot predict what's happening in Florida weather. Like sometimes it's raining, sometimes it's too hot, even in the winter time. I guess it's the beauty of it because in the winter, there is no winter here. There is no winter. You will see, especially in South Florida. It's uh, in the winter also, the weather stays so calm. So now we are at the first location. So this one, we bought it like two and a half years ago. And uh, as I told you guys, like we remodeled the kitchen and that's what like today's meeting is more with the contractor where we are discussing about, you know, the final walkthrough. Like we did knock down the wall, try to make it more open kitchen. So made it some couple of changes. So before my client comes in, I just want to kind of make sure the project is going correctly. So, and also our appliance is getting delivered. And uh, let me tell you about this particular building. So this one is co-op. You know, there is no difference as a looking in a condo and co-op, but there is a huge difference in a, how it works in a process wise and what do you get in a like back end. And that's what the major difference is. So I have another video where I'm explaining about the difference between condo and co-ops. If you guys want to check out that video, we'll give you more idea about the co-op. But technically, co-ops are very, very affordable. Very, very affordable. If you are looking to buy something close to 200,000, then co-op would be the great choice close to beach area. The, even though it's like, it doesn't necessarily, there are only co-ops here for example the buildings across those are like a condo buildings and those are also kind of not too expensive so the building you know for example safari building which i was showing you guys while we were driving that's something it's newer building it's more advanced more amenities and that's why it's a cost more plus it has the potential of having the ocean view you know it's very close to that but this one doesn't have ocean view but it does have the bay view for example this particular building i'm going to show you the clubhouse of that building they have a bay view if you have a boat you can even put the boat there is the rentals are not too expensive like the docks are not too expensive so that's even plus points like if you're buying something and if you're really looking to have a boat and you know keep your florida lifestyle attached then definitely try to buy something where there is a docks available okay so i'm calling my client right now and uh, they're going to see the first time their kitchen actually they're coming can you see me? It's a video call. Are you ready for your new kitchen to see some glimpse? Yeah. Doo -doo -doo. Looks fantastic, actually. It looks very open. And 
yeah. this island thing before I was just doing the wall but then we figured out like maybe we can do this much like 8 inch and it looks good the kitchen like look at this the handles nice yeah. and clean yeah The I round light, know. remember the round light what we use normally? Yes, the little know, bit flushed one. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, right. yeah, that but one. But this is my question because the last time you're not sure if it's a roller fan with light or just uh, the light. Oh, yeah, 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 I too. So this kind of condo, if you buy like a two bedroom, it right now it would cost around 250 to going up to 350 in this kind of building. So this is still, it's not a condo, it's a co-op again. But if you buy something where need, like it's more original stuff, like, you know, needs more remodeling, like how we did, there is a potential to buy even close to 200,000. So before COVID, the definitely the price has a little bit gone up, but not too much. Single family house market is different than condo co-op market. And we do have a lot of inventory. So if you are still looking to purchase something affordable, it is possible to buy here. But it's not about the purchase price only. You do have to see the HOA, what is their offering, if there is special assessment fees. So this particular building, that's a great part is, is very personalized. You know, everybody takes care of each other. It's not a huge building where you do not know your neighbor even. Uh, this is like, you know, the precedent, everybody takes care of your, like, you know, it takes care of each other. So this my client, he lives in Canada and he never kind of stopped by here in last couple of, I think last two years in a COVID time, but still the property, you know, if any issues and any new person, you know, they see around, they do kind of take care. So even like sometimes I'm coming here just to look at it and you know, there's, oh, who are you? And I mean, not now they know me, but I'm just saying like, you know, that's another beauty when you're going in a small building where everybody is knowing each other, everybody's so friendly, taking care of each other. Even though let's say you're buying like a snowbird where you are here going to live only a couple of months. So uh, talking about this particular one, uh, we did this remodeling, the whole kitchen, a couple of thousands of dollars we spent here and uh, now it's almost ready to put it in a market. I, st I still have to decide the numbers, but it's, it's going to be a little bit in a higher limits because the kitchen is brand new. The bathrooms are good there. It's not too original. It's in a good condition. We would have changed the flooring, but the flooring doesn't look bad. The whole house has the tile floors, no carpets. So that's the good part here. So when I remodel, that's also those things I take in consideration. Or when we buy a property, we take in consideration like how much money we need to spend to make it more nicer property. So this one, when we bought it, we already knew the kitchen we have to put new at some point. So this is the clubhouse of this building and I'm going to show you the best part of living here. Even though beach is like less than a mile, not even a mile actually, you can just walk. And clubhouse has a beautiful view if you are buying a property. And if you, in case in the same building, if you are buying one of those, you still get this bay view. So this particular section also, I love it because there's a lot of possibility here. You different kind of condos or co-ops you can buy in affordable range. Let me show you another building which is kind of my little bit favorite. This is a very small building, but a similar, a lot of other buildings are there. The, look at this one. So this is a small multifamily units. If you're looking to, uh, you know, something on a lower side also, it's very possible and uh, you can park your boat here. It's, it's fantastic. So those houses on the back are a million, million dollar houses. So if you're buying one of this property, the real estate 
stays pretty strong because you are surrounded by a very brilliant properties. This is a Dolphin Isle actually. I'm going to put some drone about this particular community. How does it look like? And uh, yeah, it's all about water and fun. And this is, this is a Florida true lifestyle. So this is the lower unit and they made so nice, beautiful porch. You just sit here and chill out. So now let's talk about the numbers and also some of the investment things like in case you're looking to buy for yourself but you're looking to live here six months and six months you want to live in your country or you're in your state then this is possible here because the rental restrictions here are like you can immediately rent but minimum six months so in a one year you can rent one so when you're buying here especially in south florida you do have to find out the rental restrictions pretty much because all of the listings you are seeing on zillowrealtor.com sometimes they do not say about specific to the rental restriction and that's very important piece even though you're buying for yourself because let's say you're not here what are you going to do with that property so if you're going to live here then doesn't matter and and I'll just give you a general overview. If you are buying something where it does have a rental restriction, for example, it's not going to be rented for first year or two years, then those properties are actually cheaper than the compared to other one which has less rental restrictions. So because, you know, ultimately the HOA also has to go through a lot of transitions if the tenants are living there and they have to, um, you know, some buildings even don't allow to do the rentals. If you're looking to do Airbnb, then it's, you know, people think it's very easy to do, but it's not because not every building here allows the daily rentals. Airbnb is like a motel, like a hotel kind of things, right? Every day people are rolling over so the HOA has to be comfortable doing that and they have to have a different management system for allowing those kind of things sometimes even the homeowners living in that building are not comfortable so it goes through a lot of lot of review and then only they allow the daily rental so I would say in whole Fort Lauderdale only 2% to 5% buildings will allow daily rentals very very few buildings the best bet to do Airbnb is buying something you know where there is no HOA like you know sometimes the duplexes or multifamilies they do not have a HOA or buying you know, single family houses where don't have a HOA for example in Dolphin Isle there is no HOA so you can buy one of those older houses you can remodel and put them in a rent or you can put it, keep it for yourself too. So I'm going to show you one of our unit we just closed last week and it's a really great example if you're buying something below 300,000 with a low HOA and what you can get in Fort Lauderdale. So let's go inside now. So here is my another property we just closed last week. So it's just a two bedroom. It's almost 1200 plus square foot. And it's one of the great example. You can get affordable pricing, affordable what I'm talking about because, you know, of course the Florida condos are way less expensive than some other states, but still it's, it's still in a higher limits if you're going to live on a beach more closer to beach you are it's going to be more expensive so this is one of the neighborhood i figured out that's like more affordable with less restriction if you're an investor so this particular one we bought around 270,000 just last week the hoa is around close to 300 only it differs with the one bedroom differ than two bedroom and three bedrooms so it could be you know, subjective to how many bedrooms, but compared to the HOA is pretty less. At the same time, this neighborhood is fantastic. You know, I'm going to walk you through around, which is more like, you know, the beautiful spot. Just stay tuned till we go to the clubhouse. It's so fantastic looking. So this one we bought considering we need a little bit more remodeling because if you buy a remodel property here, it would be close to 360, 340, around that range. Depends on how the remodeling is done. So this one, we are going to change the floors and the kitchen. And let's say even as is if I'm renting out, still between 1600 to 1800 easily I can rent out right now. And if I'm remodeling rented out, then it will be really good range between 2200 to 2500 So it depends on the how remodeling is done. So let me walk you through this property.
So this is a great example where how you would get with the original kitchen or less remote, like, you know, less remodel property in this neighborhood. So this is like kitchen is very original. It's not bad though. You can still keep it. And that's where we are planning to rent it out right now as is. Maybe I'll change the countertop and add some backsplash and make it a little nicer for the rentals. And then later on, we are going to change uh, the whole kitchen when we change the actual flooring. And another thing here, many people do this wall, they try to open up. That's another reason my kitchen remodeling will be a little more extensive because when you open up this wall, the panel is here. So I have to shift the panel. So when you're buying something, you know, the property which needs a work, this all little, little, little things also you have to take care and, uh, you know, you have to add up those numbers in a remodeling. 